guys, what's up? It's Hope again, and I'm here for part two of my six months anniversary videos. Um, there's going to be a part one, a part two, and possibly a part three. If you haven't seen my first video, feel free to go back and watch that one first, or you can just start right here. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about specifically what I eat when I go out to eat. Uh, I've been promising you this video for quite a while now, so um, hopefully I'll be able to finish it and uh, won't make it too long. Um, let's see, going out to eat has always been something that I struggled with because I wasn't able to have that willpower to say no to all of the yummy, awesome stuff that, um, isn't necessarily good for you. Um, but as far as this journey goes, I've been able to really hone in on protein first and picking items that I feel like are good choices when you go out to eat. So, um, and this is going to be a pay, like, I guess a mix between fast food restaurants and of course, restaurants that I eat at. Um, now, I live in Southeast Texas, so if you don't have any of these restaurants in your area, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna let y'all know uh, kind of what I eat in air in restaurants in my area. Um, let's see, I'm gonna start with Sonic. Now, I know Sonic is a restaurant that's not everywhere. It's, I guess it's more fast food. It's like a drive-in, if you've never heard of it. Um, their drinks are incredible. They have like a million different flavors of drinks and you can mix and match. and. Um, now that I only drink water and tea sometimes, um, that's kind of out of the question for me, but, um, when I go to Sonic, what I get to eat is, um, I get a Junior Deluxe cheeseburger, which is a little bitty baby kind of kid's burger, um, without the bread, and I will eat half of that and be full. Um, sometimes I can eat the whole thing. Now, the reason why it's a Deluxe is because it does have all the vegetables on it, um, but I'll just eat the burger and the vegetables and no bread. That is pretty much my go-to for any sort of fast food restaurant. I don't eat McDonald's, period. I'm not a big McDonald's person. Um, but, you know, if you go to Jack in the Box, um, that's what I would get. Um, just a small kid's cheeseburger without the bread. Or I would do, um, Jack in the Box has really good salads. I've done those before, and they're, they're really good. Um, let's see, Subway, of course, you can have pretty much anything in there. Um, I'll do a chopped salad or I'll do, um, any sort of sandwich. I like, um, I like the grilled chicken breast for the, the salads and the sandwich that I get. What I'll do is I'll get, um, a sandwich on flatbread, but I won't eat the flatbread. I'll just eat the vegetables and the meat that's inside of it. It's really yummy. Um, but Subway is a pretty much a given. You could eat whatever there and it'd be good for you. Um, within reason. I guess they do have the most awesome cookies, um, and chips or whatever. I don't eat any of that. I just eat, um, the protein and the vegetables that are inside of, a, of the, the flatbread or just the chopped, sam uh, chopped salad. Um, let's see, Dairy Queen. I'm not sure if y'all have Dairy Queen, um, where you all live, but, um, it's just kind of another fast food restaurant. Um, they have really good ice cream and really good, like, burgers, and it's, it's more like a fast food, I guess, kind of thing. Um, but what I normally get from Dairy Queen is, um, three tacos, but what I'll do is I'll empty out the contents of the tacos, um, of two of them, and I'll just eat the meat and cheese and lettuce and tomatoes, um, with a little bit of sour cream, and it's delicious and yummy. I don't eat the shell or anything, I just eat the meat and the lettuce and tomatoes and the sour cream, and it's really good. Um, let's see what else. I'm not a big Wendy's person, um, but I have gotten their chili from there before and it's really good. Or I'll do like a small side salad. Um, and then again, of course, I, I sometimes I would do, um, I could do a kid's burger and just eat the burger with no bread. Um, let's see what else. Um, Red Lobster. I know Red Lobsters are kind of nationwide, so let me just kick in there for a minute. Um, Red Lobster, what I typically get it, it comes off of their lunch menu, but sometimes you can ask for it, and they will give it to you at dinner time as well. It's the shrimp scampi. Um, it comes in a little bowl like this. Um, and what I do, now it is baked in all kinds of butter, um, which is really good, but um, not necessarily that healthy for you. Um, but I do love it. It's really good. I'll eat the shrimp scampi, but I'll um, go ahead and take all of the shrimp out of the little container and what I do is um, put it on a small plate and I ask, and, and with that you get a small side salad. So I'll eat all of the shrimp and then like maybe half or a fourth of that side salad over the ranch on the side. And um, that's what I eat at Red Lobster and it fills me up. Sometimes I can't even eat all of the shrimp that are in that lunch portion of a shrimp scampi. Um, any sort of seafood there I just love so much. Um, any sort of grilled seafood. Um, 
let's see, Cheddar's, I'm not sure if Cheddar's is nationwide, but they are down here, so, um, they're, I guess they're around here, so, Cheddar's is kind of like, um, it's kind of like an American food restaurant, I guess, like, it has burgers, and, but it has steak, and it has pastas, and it has all kinds of stuff, um, I normally get, um, salad there, um, any sort of salad is awesome, um, or they have this thing called Key West Chicken and Shrimp, which is just grilled chicken and grilled shrimp um, with no rice. And it comes on a bed of rice, and I always say no rice. Um, I can eat the shrimp, but I can only eat a little bit of the chicken. So I most of the time just try and order either an appetizer that's not fried. I know that's hard to do because every menu um, you open appetizers, almost all of them are fried. Um, but my go-to things as far as going out to eat is, especially at restaurants, is I try and order off of the appetizer menu just because the portions are smaller. Um, always, you know, do something that's grilled or baked, never anything fried. Um, and I don't do any sort of sides really unless it is a vegetable. But most of the time I don't really have room for that. So, um, if I have, my husband has two small children from a previous marriage. If we have the boys with us. Um, then, you know, I'll let them eat my sides, which kind of comes in handy. Um, if, you know, if it's just me and my husband, then he'll eat the sides or I'll just take it home with me. Um, that's always an option. Just take it, whatever's left home. Um, I most always have leftovers for sure. Um, let's see. Cracker Barrel. I love Cracker Barrel, actually. I love their food. Um, I love their little gift shop. Um, from there, I love their grilled fish. It is so good if you've never tried it take a minute and try it. It's so yummy. Um, their salads are really good. I love them. They also do chicken tenderloin. It's just kind of grilled chicken strips, but it has cheese and bacon on it. Now here lately, I have not been able to eat bacon. Um, I don't know what it is, but it just makes me kind of feel ill, um, which sucks really bad because I used to love bacon so much, but my sleeve hasn't really been liking bacon a lot, um, but they will do it without the bacon. So it's just like grilled chicken tenders with cheese on it. And it is so yummy. Um, that's what I get from Cracker Barrel. They also have a really good fruit yogurt parfait there with like nuts. Um, I always say no granola and you could have like eggs or bacon with it as far as breakfast goes and it's really good. Um, let's see. Now, um, Italian restaurant. Um, I love Italian food. It's actually my favorite kind or it used to be, I guess. Um, here at home, we've made a lot of substitutes with spaghetti, squash, or zucchini as far as pasta goes because I don't eat pasta anymore. Um, but, you know, I know, like, when I go out to eat to an Italian restaurant, my husband loves Italian food, and so I'm, I'm not going to get away with never going to another Italian restaurant. So, another key thing I feel like is you really have to be able to, um, no matter where you go, find something that you can eat. Um, they're going to serve some sort of protein there. They're going to serve some sort of vegetable there. Um, I don't, I just don't want my family to feel like because I'm with them, we have to go to special places to eat. I mean... Um, honestly, I could eat anywhere. So, um, that's kind of the mind frame I've been in here recently is I don't want my family to suffer for the choices that I'm making. So, um, not that they're really suffering anyway, um, but you never know. Um, I've kind of heard that. So, um, anyway, uh, so for Italian food, um, I always get like a salad or I'll do some sort of zucchini. They have like, um, or a eggplant parmesan or they'll have... Um, like a baked eggplant parmesan. Um, a local Italian restaurant does that. It's not fried. It's actually baked and it's so good. Um, any sort of zucchini um, dish, like a baked zucchini. I do here at home. I've done a zucchini lasagna and it's really good. Um, but when we go out to eat, mostly I just do like a salad as far as Italian food goes just because I don't really see anything that, um, that I can eat really. Um... But they always serve salad, so um, that's always a go-to. But like I said, most importantly, I've really just been trying to focus on family and people and wherever we go, making a decision to choose something um, that I know I can eat, but making it not be all about food, um, which is really hard for me um, and probably hard for a lot of people out there. Um, for, let's see, there are a couple of delis around here that I absolutely love, love, love. Um, there's Jason's Deli and McAllister's. Um, McAllister's, um, I'm not sure how far up they go from Texas uh, or Jason's Deli even really, but, um, McAllister's I will do, um, they have a really good taco salad, um, and they actually put chili in it and, um, 
lettuce and just all these really awesome vegetables and it's so good. Um, that's what I get from there. Um, or I'll do um, a grilled chicken panini, but I'll take the bread off and just eat the chicken and cheese. Um, for Jason's Deli, it's a salad bar kind of place. Um, you can order off the menu or you can do salad bar. And what I do is I do a one trip salad bar where you just go to the salad bar one time because that's all I'll need. And um, it's really good. Jason's Deli is awesome if you've never been there. Oh, you should try it out. Um, what else? Um, I've honestly here lately, I've really just been trying to stick to eating at home because I control what's in it and I know how much I'm eating. Um, I always get real scared that I'm going to get overeat and I'm going to get sick and um, it's happened a few times, not a whole bunch, thank God. Um, but, um, you know, when you're going out to eat, just remember protein first and try and choose really healthy choices and um, you will you won't fail, you'll do great. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what I eat whenever I go out to eat to different restaurants. Um, Again, like I said, a lot of these places are around here where I live. But um, as long as you're sticking to protein first, then you can't go wrong. Um, and if y'all have any questions or um, any comments, feel free to post them below. Um, now, next up is going to be my third video. The third video, um, like I said, I'm still trying to decide if I have enough courage to post it or not. Um, I'm going to show you my scars from my surgeries, um, from the vertical sleeve gastrectomy and from my gallbladder surgery. So you'll be able to kind of see my stomach and what it looks like, which has me the most terrified. And um, then you'll also be able to see a body shot of me and what I look like at six months post-op. So um, if you never see a third video posted, you know why. You know I chickened out and couldn't do it. Um, if you do see one, um, you know, hopefully um, it helps someone out there. That's why I started this, this video blog. Um, I wanted to be able to inspire people out there and help people who are looking into vertical sleeve gastrectomy or any weight loss surgery, really. Um, or if you're just needing help kind of getting on the right path to becoming the healthiest, best you possible. Um, I hope in some way that I've inspired you or at least helped you along the way. If y'all have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!